Hi there, welcome back. This will be a fun way to explore a ground force connection and connect the arms to the legs. I have five pounds here and what I'm going to start doing is basically doing running motions with my arms except they're low down here and the goal here is to feel my whole body connect into my arms. So you'll see I have a little bit of side bending, that's lateral line, and a little bit of rotation, that's spiral line, and my whole body is moving with my arms. And I can play with going at this speed or going faster, and as I go faster, I, you'll notice that your body needs to tighten up and the motions get smaller in the torso here. Going slow, I can have these big long uh, motions here, big range, and as I start going faster, it's like a centrifuge. I need to be, uh, I reduce the range of motion. And of course, because my feet are locked in space, I can drive a lot of this motion from my feet and legs through the hips <clears throat> into the torso and out the arms. Now, do you have to stay standing? No. You can do here, and then when you're ready, you'll boom, come forward. And now, I'm standing on just one leg. This is going to be a lot more challenging to keep it in your chains and not your lower back or something similar. I'm here, boom. You may notice it's a lot easier on one leg versus the other, but this is a great assessment for you. You can go here, and then you can go back. This is also good because it helps you learn rhythm and helps you learn how to connect the arm movement with the legs. You can also train your biceps and triceps in a very functional way in this position. So standing here, I can start increasing the range. I can exaggerate certain portions of the motion. If I, wanna, if I want to use more front and back chain, I can play with this rhythm. If I wanted to put more rotation, I could do something like this. This is just a good option to learn how to control and work with the arms in a functional way where you can leverage the motion into the body.